Hello, Rosalind S. Jaffe Awards folks. It's nice to meet you. My name is Karen Kalish, and I am a serial social entrepreneur. Serial means many, entrepreneur starts things, and serial means many, and I've started three nonprofits and one program. I grew up in St. Louis, left immediately, went to Washington, D.C., where I taught school for six years, and then I quit and became a screaming, yelling consumer advocate and ended up a television reporter at CBS in Washington, ABC in Chicago, and Entertainment Tonight back in D.C. Then I stopped that and I started a business teaching people how to talk to the media without putting their foot in their mouth. I did that for 17 years, but two thirds of the way through, I heard about this program in, in Philadelphia called Operation Understanding and went to learn about it. It's a program for black and Jewish high school students and thought, wow, we need that in DC. So I went to Philly, learned all about it, got permission to start one in Washington, DC, and we did Operation Understanding DC year-long program for high school students to teach them about their own and each other's race, religion, culture, and history. And it's been going for 24 years. Very excited about that program. So I ran my business, I ran OUDC, and after five years of OUDC and the business, I stepped back, I gave the business to my trainers, I gave the nonprofit to the board, and I went off to graduate school at age 54. And I went to Harvard, to the Kennedy School, and got a degree in public policy. I thought I died and went to heaven. It was like drinking from a hydrant. So I was there for two years, one to get the degree and I loved it so much I stayed again and took another year. More papers, more people to meet, more classes to attend. It was really an incredible experience. And then I moved back to St. Louis after being gone for 34 years. The first thing I did was start a program in the police department to put police recruits in the schools, the low performing schools to help the kids for the kids to see police in a helping light and for the police to see how serious this education equity issue is. I'm in my fourth chief. We've been doing it for 15 years. I have no data and I'm a data person, but all the chiefs love it, the recruits love it, the kids love it, and so we keep doing it. It's called Books and Badges. A few years later, people came to me and said, we need that program you started in Washington. Racism is alive and well in St. Louis. So, got people together and we started cultural leadership year-long program for high school students, no longer just blacks and Jews. No longer are we the two most hated groups in America like we were in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s and for hundreds of years, but things have changed. And so this program is open to all kids who care about civil rights, social justice, and democracy. Year-long program, ran it for seven years, but I think founders need to get out of the way like I did in, in uh, Washington. And so in seven years, I turned it over to the board and I had started another program called HomeWorks, the Teacher Home Visit Program. And we train, support, and pay teachers to go to the homes of their students to get their parents engaged in their education. There are so many kids who come to school not ready to learn, and they're behind and they never catch up. And we have to get kids to come to school ready, go to and through high school, to and through college, or some other post-secondary education, ready for the workforce, a career, more schooling, but ready to handle the challenges of the 21st century and not get to prison. We want to break that prison, school to prison pipeline. I, as you probably can tell, I'm a tikkun olam junkie. If I can see a problem and find a way to work on it, grab two or three allies or more, roll up our sleeves and get to work, that just excites me so much. So all of my programs have to do with ending racism, discrimination, anti-Semitism, literacy, our little kids in our schools. Those are the kids that I want to work on and the problems that I want to work on. I am so honored to be nominated for the Rosalind S. Jaffe Award, and I thank you for listening to this video.